go to the fourth part of the light heavyweight division. Um, so we in Bob Foster's reign here. Uh, go get the months in there. Yes. So um, May the twenty fourth, nineteen sixty eight. That's the year of the Mexico Olympics. Um, but again. Uh, 1968, that's when Bob Foster won the title of Dick Tiger in the fourth round, which I finished off in the last tape um, video. And then January the 22nd, 1969, Bob Foster wins by KO in the first round against Frankie DePaula from the US in New York. And then May the 24th, 1969, Bob Foster wins, referee stops the fight in the fourth round against Andy Ken Kendall from Springfield, who's from the US, Andy Kendall. And in April the 4th, 1970, Bob Foster wins again, same result, fourth round, referee stops the fight against Roger Rouse in Missoula. Um, June the 27th, 1970, Bob Foster wins by KO in the 10th round against Mark Tessman from the US in Baltimore. December the 9th, 1970, Bob Foster is stripped of his WBA title for refusing to meet the deadline for the defence against number one challenger Jimmy Dupree. So we go to the WBA title now, and it, February 27th, 1971, Vincent Rondon from Venezuela wins in the sixth round, where he stops the fight against Jimmy Dupree from the US in Caracas, Venezuela, for the vacant title. June the 5th, 1971, Vincent Rondon wins in the first round by KO against Perio del Papa in Italy. Uh, sorry, from Italy, and it was in Caracas, Venezuela. August the 21st, 1971, Vincent Rondon wins on points over 15 rounds against Eddie Jones from the US in Caracas, Venezuela. Then December the 15th, 1971, Vincent Rondon wins by KO in the 8th round against Doyle Barr, Bad, Bad, of the US in Cleveland, Ohio. April the 7th, 1972, Bob Foster wins in the 2nd round by KO against Vincent Rondon in Miami Beach. For the undisputed title. That's Bob Foster comes back in the picture. Now the WBC title involves Bob Foster. March 2nd, 1971, Bob Foster wins by KO in the fourth round against Hal Carroll from the US in Scranton. April the 24th. 1971, Bob Foster wins on points against Ray Anderson in Tampa, Florida. October the 29th, 1971, Bob Foster wins. Referee stops the fight in the eighth round against Tommy Hicks from the US in Scranton. December the 16th, 1971, Bob Foster wins in the third round. Referee stops the fight against Brian Kelly from the US in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. April the 7th, 1972, Bob Foster wins by KO against Vincent Rondon, second round in Miami Beach. Again, it's the same result there. Florida, the undisputed title there. So again, just gives you all the ones that are involved in that title. Now, come on to... Undisputed title. The 27th of June 1972, Bob Foster wins by KO in the fourth round against Mike Quarry from the US 
in Las Vegas, Nevada, the brother of Jerry Quarry, the heavyweight. And then September the 26th, 1972, Bob Foster wins by KO in the 14th round against Chris Finnegan, the ex cod carrier, England representative in the amateurs, Olympian Chris Finnegan from England in Wembley, England. He beat Finnegan in the 14th round by KO. August the 21st, 1973, Bob Foster wins on points over 15 rounds against Perrier, Perrier Fora, Fora, from South Africa in Albuquerque, New Mexico. And in December the 1st, 1973, Bob Foster wins on points. Again, over 15 rounds against Perio Fourier in Johannesburg, South Africa this time, in his own town. And then June the 17th, 1974, Bob Foster drew over 15 rounds with George Hamada from Argentina in Albuquerque, New Mexico. In August 1974, the, the World Boxing Council, WBC, withdrew its recognition of Bob Foster as the world champion for failure to sign for a title defence against John Conti or George Amada, Hamada. So the WBC title, October the 1st, 1974, John Conti of England wins over wins on points over 15 rounds against George Ahmada, Ahmada from Argentina at Wembley, England. Over 15 rounds on points for the vacant title, WBC title, March the 11th, 1975, John Conti wins in the fifth round. Referee stops the fight against Lonnie Bennett from the US in Wembley, England again. October 9th, 1976, John Conti wins on points over 15 rounds against Alvaro Yaki Lopez, another really good fighter from the US, in Copenhagen, Denmark. March the 5th, 1977, John Conti wins in the third round against Len Hutchins from the US in Liverpool, England. Lovely. Change page. Change direction there. So, yeah. So, Conti was stripped of his, dub, of his title by the WBC for failure to go through with a contracted defence against Miguel Angel Cuolo. So on the 21st of May, 1977, Miguel Angel Cuolo, Cuolo from Argentina wins in the ninth round by KO against Jess Burnett from the US in Monte Carlo, Monaco for the vacant title. January the 7th, 1978, Mate Parlov from Yugoslavia wins by KO in the ninth round against Miguel Culo in Milan, Italy. June the 17th, 1978, Mate Parlov wins on points over 15 rounds against John Conti in Belgrade, Yugoslavia. Nineteen seventy eight, Marvin Johnson. Yes, yeah, so in nineteen seventy eight, Mate Parlov wins on points uh, over fifteen rounds against John Conti, just said that in Belgrade, Yugoslavia. Then nineteen seventy eight, Marvin Johnson wins, roughly stops the fight against Mate Parlov from Yugoslavia in Marsala, Italy. Now, 1979, Matthew Saad Mohammed, formerly known as Matthew Franklin from the US, wins in the eighth round. Referee stops the fight and over, gets an eight round win over Marvin Johnson. Referee stops the fight. Matthew Saad Mohammed, formerly known as Matt Franklin from the US. In 1979, 
Matthew Sard Mohammed wins and points over 15 rounds against John Conti in Atlantic City, New Jersey. And 1980, Matthew Sard Mohammed beats John Conti again in the fourth round. Referee stops the fight in the fourth round against John Conti. Gets another win, Atlantic City, New Jersey again. 1980 again, Matthew Saad Mohammed wins in the fifth round. Referee stops the fight against Louis Pergart from France in Halifax. And that's in Canada, Halifax. Yeah, so um, 1980 again, he makes a lot of defences there. Matthew Saad Mohammed wins over 14 rounds against Alvaro Lopez in McAfee. 1980, the last one of the year. Four defences that year. It's quite a lot in the modern times. Matthew Saad Mohammed wins by KO in fourth round against Lottie Mawal from Zambia in San Diego. February 28th, 1981, Matthew Saad Mohammed wins in the 11th round. Referee stops the fight against Von Zell Johnson. From the US. April the 25th, 1981, Matthew Saad Mohammed beats Murray Sutherland, who would be uh, Colin's opponent. Um, yeah, so Murray Sutherland uh, in the ninth round by KO. So Matthew Saad Mohammed beats Matthew Sutherland by KO in the ninth round. That's April 25th, 1981, Matthew Saab Mohammed beats Murray Sutherland from Scotland by ninth round KO. So, and uh, yes, so, yeah, so September the 26th, 1981, Matthew Saab Mohammed beats Jerry the Bull Martin in 11th round. Referee stops the fight in 11th round for a win against Jerry Martin, Atlantic City, New Jersey. Then December the nineteenth, nineteen eighty one, Dwight Braxton beats, takes the title off Matthew Saad Muhammad in the tenth round where he stops the fight, Atlantic City, New Jersey. So again, March twenty first, nineteen eighty two, Dwight Dra Braxton wins. Against Jerry the Bull Martin in the sixth round, referee stops the fight in Las Vegas, Nevada. August the 7th, 1982, Dwight Braxton wins again against Matthew Saad Mohammed. Referee stops the fight in the sixth round in Philadelphia. November the 28th, 1982, Dwight Mohammed Kwa, formerly known as Dwight Braxton, Wins the 11th round against Eddie Davis. Referee stops the fight. Now again. Dwight Braxton or Dwight Mohammed Kwa loses now. So March the 18th, 1983, Michael Spinks wins on points against Dwight Mohammed Kwa or Dwight Braxton. His first name. And his second, he changed it to Dwight Mohammed Kwa. Michael Spinks beats him in over 15 rounds on points. Atlantic City, New Jersey, with an undisputed title. Lovely. So, WBA title now. December the 7th, 1974. Okay, for the vacant title, Bipsa Galindez from Argentina wins in the 12th round by retirement over Len Hutchins. In Buenos Aires, Argentina. So we'll end on his reign, the starting of his reign. Bang.